السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من والاه May Allah bless all of you accept our, our fast, our prayers our acts of devotion May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us and remove this affliction, this baba that has covered the whole world May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. So, Alhamdulillah, we listen tonight to the 25th Jews of the Holy Quran. And we listen to the last eight ayat from Surah Hamim al Sajda, then Surah Al Shura, Surah Al Zukhruf, Surah Al Dukhan, and Surah Al Jasiya from Surah number 41 until 45. Surah Shura, uh, the word Shura means consultation, counseling, and it, uh, it starts with the ayah, Ha mim ayn sin qaf, kathalika yuhi ilayka wa ilal ladhina min qablika Allahu al-Aziz al-Hakim. Thus reveals to you, O Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, to you and those who were before you, Allah, the mighty, the wise. So this book that has come to you, to Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, it is in a similar way as the books were given to other prophets of Allah. Allah's messages came throughout history, through various prophets and messengers, and finally, it came to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So Quran is a culmination of the revelations that came throughout history. And also the deen of Islam, the religion of Islam, is the culmination of all the messages of the prophets of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So this deen is not a new deen. This religion is not a new religion. This religion is the religion of all the prophets of Allah. And Allah says in the Quran in this same surah, surah number in the ayah number 13, Shara alakum in a deen ma wassa bihi nuha, waladi o haina ilaik, wama wassaina bihi Ibrahim or Musa or Isa, and aqimu deen, wala tafarrakufi. So he has given you the religion the same that he ordained for Noah. Noah السلام, long ago, after the flood, when the humanity was all destroyed and a new generation came, and Noah السلام, was the messenger of Allah, the legion that was given to Noah السلام, and then after that, Allah says, وَمَا وَصَّيْنَا بِهِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى And then we gave the message to Ibrahim, and we give the message to Musa and Isa, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, all the same religion. It is the same religion that is given to you that was given to Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, and Isa. And the message is that hold on to this religion and do not get divided. So that was the message. And that the message came through Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But unfortunately, humanity got divided. Humanity did not stay on the same path. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu ummatan wahida. If Allah wanted, he would have made all of them one people. So they would have followed one religion if Allah wanted to do that. But Allah gives entrance into his mercy whomsoever he wills. That means Allah does not impose one religion upon the people, but it is actually meant to be one religion, one message. And that's what we say in Islam, that we believe in all of them, we do not make any discrimination between all the prophets of Allah. We believe in all the prophets of Allah because we recognize that all prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they brought the message of Tawheed, there is no God but Allah, the message of obedience, submission to Allah, Islam, that is the message throughout history. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in this surah that the believers, how they should conduct themselves individually as well as collectively. So you have the ayat from number 36 to ayah number 40. In these ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, min shayin hayati dunya. So think that you have in this world, this is the enjoyment of this life. But what is with Allah in the eternal life, it is much better and much lasting. That will be forever. And this is for those who believe and those who trust in their Lord. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us certain qualities of the people. Those who believe and those who have their trust in Allah. Those who put their trust in Allah. And those who avoid major sins and shameful deeds. And minor things, of course, human beings are human beings. Sometimes they make mistakes. But the major thing they avoid, absolutely. They don't I'll keep away from that. And shameful deeds they avoid. And if they are angry, they forgive those who make them angry. So they don't react harshly, severely, angrily towards others. And then Allah says, And those who respond to their Lord's call perform the prayers. So they are people of tawakkul. Tawakkul means trust in Allah. They avoid shameful deeds, sins. And they are forgiving, kind people. And they obey Allah, respond to the call of Allah. And perform the prayers. And conduct their affair through consultation. So individually they have certain qualities and they collectively they have certain qualities and it is important that after the prayer Allah mentions consultation. How important is that to have shura, consultation among each other. That is in your, in your, in your groups, in your organizations, in your communities, you try to have consultation with each other. Because consultation brings happiness, goodness, and you learn from each other and avoid the mistakes. So that's what the benefit of consultation. And from that which we have given them, they spend for the cause of Allah, for good causes, helping the poor and the needy, and good causes, they do that. So these are the qualities. These are the qualities of the people who follow the, the most, uh, ancient religion, the religion that's coming out from the beginning of history until now, and that is the religion of Islam. They follow that, and these are their qualities. So may Allah SWT make us stronger people who have these kind of qualities, and follow the, the way of the prophets of Allah, all the prophets of Allah Subhanahu Taala, and uh, conduct their affairs through consultation participation with each other in the community, community decisions. And then also, they are the people of charity and kindness. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from among the people who are the people of consultation and the people of charity and people of obedience to Allah and respect and honor all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. And remember, your Islamic Society of Orange County uh, at this time, because uh, as was mentioned before, that uh, the, 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 the plan was that uh, inshallah we'll have 2020, uh, people will participate in that program, $100 coming out from the 2000 people, and then we'll raise the amount of money, but it is only a small number of people. So I hope there's still time that you will contribute inshallah generously. So participate in that. Take more than 10 people, 15 shares, uh, you know, more than that. And in this way, uh, you raise the funds for the Islamic Society of Orange County, your organization that needs you. 
and inshallah you'll coming back to that very soon may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh